Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this episode, we'll work on creating a dark mode toggle switch with GUI effect when click using PRCSS in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's check it out. So first, let's create a checkbox input type accompanied by the empty label tag. Our CSS will mostly work on the label and we'll hide the checkbox later. So that's essentially it for HTML. Let's work on the CSS. First, we'll set the basic properties for the label such as width, height, relative position, block display, background color, and border radius. Then I will create inside box shadow with dark color on top and bright one at the bottom to create a morphic effect. Also change the cursor to pointer. Looks good. Next, we will create a toggle button. I'm going to create a pseudo element for the button. Start with empty content and basic properties like width, height, absolute position, top and left. I will use linear gradient for the background. As for body radius, I'll use a fixed pixel value instead of 50% because we'll work on the taco animation later. Finally, adding small box shadow. And next, we'll work on creating the taco animation. So first, let's hide the input checkbox by setting zero width, height, and visibility to hidden. Next, when the checkbox is in the checked state, I will use the adjacent CSS selector to change the label background color. And at the same time, also change the position of the pseudo element by moving the button using left and translate X. And also change the button color as well. Don't forget to add a transition time to both elements to create the animation. Now for the GUI effect, we will just change width of the button when click using active CSS selector. Looks good. Now to make the button change the background color, most likely you need to use JavaScript, but for this tutorial I will just create another div serve as a background. I will set the background div to have 100% size of the viewport with absolute position and minus Z next. and change the background color when the input is in the checked state. Now 
Finally, I will add some sun and moon icon. I will use free SVG images on SVG repo. Download the file and open it with text editor and copy the SVG code, then place it in a label tag. I will also assign the sun and moon class to each image so that we can select them in CSS. I will set the position, size, and increase the index to bring it to the front. As for the sun, I will place it on the left side and set the fill color to white while also add the transition time. And the moon will be on the right side with gray fill. Then I will switch the fill color of both icons when the input is in check state. And that's it. Let's see the result. So that's all for this episode. If you love it, please like or subscribe our channel to support us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.